is doing, he's been calling in referrals. And what he does is he'll call in a referral right before a hearing. So I'm unprepared. I have no idea what's going on. And this has snowballed into, um, I have about, like, probably 18 incident reports. Okay? I've never had an incident report before getting with him. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? Oh, questions to ask. Um, okay, I've spoken to you before. Uh, my case um, ended up in Edelman's court um, in 2017 because I was a victim of domestic violence, okay? And I was I was giving my daughter um, back custody, um, um, custody for 30 days. She was removed in the first place because we were in Santa Monica Family Court. And whenever uh, DCFS was involved in the referral, the judge would not let me see my daughter until the referral was closed. So it ended up being status quo, and she was with her father, okay, full time. Okay. At this at this point, 2017, we had an incident. I was I was given the EPO. I had my daughter for 30 days. I told the workers that the judge is not fair. You see what happens. I end up going to court as a victim. I leave with all my rights taken away. Okay. Mm -hmm. The worker sees what's going on and says, "We're going to get you into children's court right away next week." Goes in children's court. Um, what my ex is doing, he's been calling in referrals, and what he does is he'll call in a referral right before a hearing. So I'm unprepared. I have no idea what's going on, and this has snowballed into. Um, I have about like probably. 18 incident reports, okay? I've never had an incident report before getting with him, and I cannot file a report with the police about making a false report. It's not possible. I um, just, um, what has happened is I have not been offered any kind of services for reunification. The allegations were that I was um, a drug user. I voluntarily did the drug test. I realize now that I had a right not to, but what I did is I thought it would be good to show them who I really am, so I, I've over complied. I've taken 95 tests, all clean, 95, okay? I had missed, I was late for one, and this turned into a court order somehow, because I guess because I was testing, and I thought I was doing the right thing, but I should not have did that. And the father, he has a history of um, of drug abuse and um, a full rap sheet. I don't have a criminal history, but he's only tested twice. He's always given, um, always had the custody. Now, the last worker went to the same high school he went to, Okay, so I was wondering why there's so many allegations being made. No one's calling me and telling me they're happening. I'm not, I have to go I go down to the courthouse myself and pull the files just to see what's been scanned and what's going on because I have no clue. My attorney will not get back to me. So I do that like twice a week. But um, I have never been offered any reunification services. Um, all these allegations, um, even I would go to the police stations that have our exchanges because the, the problem is they're saying that we fight too much. And we're having, allegedly, we're having all of these fights. So the last April was supposed to, he, when my ex gets upset, he'll call in and say that I'm doing these things and they'll come make a report and I'm not even there. Okay, so they, nothing has ever been able to be proven. But what they're doing is they're saying that the thing that happened in April, I went and got the detective's report, nothing happened. They're saying that because the worker believes we have not reported a lot of instances and all these fighting that's going on between my daughter and her seeing it, that she um, that we keep fighting. And I got the police report from the attorney. I said, what is upset? What are they basing this on? The last time they removed her, because now she's in foster home. Now get to that. Okay, and she's going to remove from me. Hold on, Andrea. Life. Yeah. But what was the question you wanted to ask me? Okay, okay my question now is... Um, uh, I I went to I found advocates for parents, okay, and they went they were reviewing my case and they said you know you were supposed to be at least given the option to reunify with my daughter because they're not they're not giving me that option. I I get a case plan and they say um, do individual counseling. I've done individual counseling. They said that we neglected her mental health. I'm the only one who had her in therapy for a whole year. And the therapist is through the Victims' Compensation Program. Okay, said, Andre, I can, Andre, I can tell so you what you need is, to do. Go yeah, ahead. I need to Go ahead. You said the question is? Oh, and I found out that the supervisor Andrea, related to, yeah. The question is what? How can 
please, how can I get you? <laughs> please, I don't, I can't afford you, but I need you so bad in my life. I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm at, I'm, I really was borderline suicidal. I'm not gonna lie, I can't take it anymore, and I just need help. It's just, it's everything's one sided. Okay. I have well, not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the answer to the question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I want you to call me on Monday. I want you to okay. leave your name and telephone number if I'm not in the office. I will call mm-hmm. you back. And if you're in L.A., I'm going to have you come into the office, and I'm going to give you a free consultation. I'm going to tell you what to do in order to try to get your child back. And either you can do that with your current attorney, another attorney, or with us. But I'm going to give you the answers you need, okay? Okay. And, you know, also, I really mean it would be the it would be amazing. I've, I've spoken to you before about this, um, so I can try to get the money up. And um, I don't have an attorney at this point. I went into the courthouse and asked for a, a Mars, a Mars, I forgot the name, a hearing. And I cannot get different representation from a, um, the um, from the court. And also, I have no representing at all. And okay, Andrea. I'm gonna, I'll, we're I'll gonna, call you. Andrea, we're going to talk about when you call me, okay? I want to thank okay, you for sure. calling. I want to thank you for listening. Okay. And please call okay. us again, okay? I will. And what number do I call you at? Triple eight triple eight six five eight two triple eight triple eight six five eight two. Call Monday. Oh, really? Really quick. I'm sorry. Really quick. Andrea. I was ordered... Andrea. I can't. I have to go on. I got a lot of people in the queue. Okay. I can ask a quick question. No, we'll talk about it on Monday. All righty. Thank you, Andrea, for calling. Let's go to Allie in Merced. Hi, Allie. How are you? Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I've talked to you actually a couple times in the past. Um, and right now, I, I just kind of had questions with me and my case I'm still going through. Um, I, I've actually tried for the Marsden hearing um, back before my Dispo Juris hearing. Mm-hmm. And I had showed the judge, I had told him one of the points I was making to show her incompetent um, was that she had been telling me from the very beginning when my son was detained in August that I could not file for a 388. And I know that's one of the petitions I could file at any point in the case. No, that's not and, true. That's, Allie, that's not true. The way, 380, okay. the way 388 is written, if you read it, you can't file a 388 until after the disposition hearing. So have oh, you... Have I you, was informed along by advocates, I guess. Have you, um, have you uh, read 388? Because you can Google it. Yeah. WIC yes. 388, and it says right there that it's supposed to be filed after the disposition hearing. Now, I have seen people try to file 388s before the disposition hearing, and sometimes they're turned into a different type of motion, or sometimes the judge accepts it. Um, but that's not the norm, and that, in my humble opinion, it's not the law. Okay, yeah, because I was told cause of the placement, because I wanted the dispute where he has been placed out of my care, that I could file that. Well, you can file you can file a motion to um, to dispute the placement, but at the disposition hearing, one of the key issues is the placement. Is the child going to be placed with you, foster care, relative A, relative B, relative C? So you get to have a trial on that. Okay. Okay. Um, and the second part, um, kind of that entailed with that, um, is do you, do you always are you always allowed like an evidentiary hearing? Absolutely. Well, at the at your stage of the case, at, at the jurisdictional dispositional hearing, which call the, they call it the juris dispo hearing, you are absolutely allowed as a matter of constitutional right to have an evidentiary hearing. You're not, you may not be able to have an evidentiary hearing on a 388, but that's a whole other question. If you're at the juris dispo stage, you're allowed to have a evidentiary hearing. Okay, because I've, I've, um, I pled no, not guilty because the 300 um, B and G petition wasn't actually filed um, as my under myself. I'm the non-offending non-custodial, and the the ER worker initially detained my son, and even in the detention hearing um, report, it says in her words because she wanted a drug test before she released my son. Okay, well she's and, not entitled to that. And if you're non-offending, if you're truly non-offending in the 300 petition, the child should be placed with you. There is no requirement in the law that you take a drug test. The judge, even prior to uh, jurisdictional dispositional hearing, can't even order you to take a drug test because he or she has not taken jurisdiction over the case. Listen, it sounds like some things are going oddly in your county. Please call me at the office. I'll speak to you. 
free consultation. It's 888-888-6582. Thank you for okay. thank you for listening and keep listening, please. I have to take a break right now, pay some bills. This is attorney Vince Davis and the, This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and Win. We'll be right back. 